What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, uh, we're going to talk about spirit swap. Okay guys, I've already made several videos on this and man, it pains me because um, I ended up buying some more of this uh, stuff like five times the price. Uh, but the point is, is I love spirit swap. Um, it was one of those uh, coins that I was actually liking over Boo. Uh, I thought it had some more price action and people were kind of like giving it the forget it, <laughs> kicking the can down the road. But this tweet, I retweeted this on my Twitter. This is when I was just like, okay, I'm in. I love it. Let's go ahead and lever it up. Uh, but again, guys, I get wrecked 1000% of the time. So really don't do what I'm doing. Um, in fact, if you want, the best thing to do is probably take this video and do the opposite of what I do. Um, so with Spirit Swap, look at this tweet. This is what Danny said. Danny is a guy, uh, he's just a, um, Big time dev, uh, I, I'm following like crazy. He, he's doing a great job, I love this guy. Love to have him on the channel, especially if he sees this. But Spear Swap, go 100% gauges, giving more lockups, lowering circulating supply, enabling farms to live longer. Then, or that in addition with a partnership with Avercadaver on LP leverage and DGEN slash DGEN markets will be true make it a poop coin exchange which i love okay so he already gives spirit swap basically the hey we love you this is awesome um i'm just gonna give you the blessing <laughs> so he likes spirit swap because they took him in while his protocol was lower i'm sure you see his spell on spirit swap and all kinds of stuff uh but the point is is danny is going to want to give the better yields and there's a cool little piece on spirit swap where they have boosted farms now me i have a thunk that well if for some reason danny is like okay well we want to provide the best yields how are we going to do it i think they're going to take advantage of this 1x 2x to 2.5x leverage and how are they going to do this well what they're going to do is they have to lock up in spirit so I feel there's going to be a large demand for InSpirit because if Danny wants to give the best yields on InSpirit, well, you're going to have to lock up the coins in order to give the best yields. And on Discord, I'll show like the segment with like the yields and what I'm actually doing and how I'm playing it and show them where I'm depositing funds. So right now, this section right here, this is important. So the current APR is 96%. However, if you lock up the maximum amount of InSpirit, you can get almost three times that. It's 2.5x. And you can bet your buns as more and more Spirit is locked up, this is going to cause a crazy price action. Let me just show you guys InSpirit. 100 million Spirit that is locked. Um, and there's only 51 million in circulation. Uh, actually, there's a total in circulating. There's a total of 151 million, and this is constantly going up. But the rates aren't like crazy. They aren't like 9,000% APR, so it's not going to pump it to like dust. They're lower APRs right now. Um, everything's relative, obviously. So they are still high APRs, but they're low. And what's important about this in spirit is you lock up the tokens. And when you lock it up for the max time, that's going to lock it up for four years. So once you lock it, it's gone forever. You can't access it until after four years and it comes back. Now, what's really cool about in spirit is say, for example, you want to deposit an LP with, let's say, $100,000. In order for you to do that, you have to have an equal share of in spirit tokens. So if you have $1 in US value and you want to get the 2.5X or almost, oh yeah, 2.5X uh, farming yields, you're going to have to have $1 spirit locked up. And the longer you lock it, the more in spirit you get. This token counts down. So if you lock up, let's say, 1,000 in spirit for four years, you're going to get 1,000 in spirit. I'm sorry, 1,000 spirit for four years, you're going to get 1,000 in spirit. Now, as time goes on, your InSpirit balance will automatically count down until it hits the four years and eventually it'll be zero. So in order to keep getting those yields, you either have to lock more Spirit up or you have to um, earn more Spirit, like buy it and lock that up. I mean, there's different options. So there's going to be constant buy pressure on it. And like I mentioned earlier, I mean, you can bet your buns if Danny wants to create the best pools he's going to have to buy the most in spirit. So if Danny wants to create the best rewards, 
can bet your buns that he's going to get the most spirit he can and lock it up. That way it's going to be used for the urine vaults because I'm sure there's some partnerships involved with that. I don't know. Everyone's pretty tight knit in the spirit swap ecosystem or in the phantom ecosystem. So it's something to keep in mind. And now um, some other things I want to talk to you guys about spirit swap is everyone kind of gave it the can and kicked it down the road and was like, ah, forget you. A uh, spooky swap's going to be better. People were kind of forgetting about spirit, and that's where Danny went on and integrated with it. Guys, remember the biggest things you guys need to look for when you're looking at these different protocols is first you want to look for the teams. Teams are killer, hence why I like Terra Luna because they had Do Kwan. Um, he's brilliant behind there, and he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing, and he knows how to build a community. Second is you look for strong communities. You don't want to get into a community where it's like, win moon, win, win 10x, uh, where's my money? Because as soon as it goes down, everyone's going to be like, I hate you, I'm going to kill you. Um, so it's, it's almost, <laughs> it's not good. It's very toxic. So when, when something's toxic, uh, other, other people are going to be like that, and it, it's not good. Um, so my case for spirit is, Danny is integrating with it. Uh, you're you're going to have magic internet money. You're going to possibly have popsicle finance. What if it integrates with spirit swap, making it the best liquidity? I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see what happens. There's a bunch of Legos that are just laying on the floor. And Danny's like, what the snap? I'm going to make this into a castle. And I'm like, what the snap? I'm behind you, buddy. <laughs> I'd love to have you on the channel just to pick your brain. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, we're going to cut this off here. I'll play the rest in the Discord video uh, so you guys kind of know what I'm playing and know what I'm doing. So Spirit also has a little lending market. So they're actually trying to be somewhat of a one-trick pony while the lending market's loading. Um, I want to show you this section. These are the other farms. As you can see, it's not crazy APRs. So what's the incentive? I mean, these are similar to Boo as well. What's the incentive? Oh, well, lock up your Spirit coins so that way you can get a better APR. Or actually, you can see these are pretty good down here. Um, of course, MIM. <laughs> it's because it's going nuts in hand. Most is from trading. Yeah, their LP APR is 48%. That's crazy. Um, that's just because there's so much swapping going on. But this is the one trick pony part. They have Spirit over here. They have USDC, Wrap Bitcoin. This is a lending market right here. So what you can do is you can loop this as well. So you can lend Bitcoin, borrow Bitcoin, lend Bitcoin, borrow Bitcoin, da, 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 da. And I was going to do it with Spirit, but the problem was you're only able to borrow 15% of your value. So what's wrong with that? Well, if you deposit $1,000 in Spirit, you can only borrow $150 worth of Spirit. So kind of was like, eh, I'm wrecked. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So looking to be a one-trick pony. Kind of like it. And next, if you want to have no impermanent loss, you can provide liquidity for Gen Spirit and Spirit. These are just both uh, unlocked, locked coins so gen spirit is basically locked spirit but is unlocked so it's basically uh, tokens that you can swap and sell let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner proverbs chapter 17 verses 6 children's children are a crown to the age and parents are pride of their children so true man so true let's go ahead and go back to this though i want to show you guys this Yes, Spirit will soon be moving all farms to boosted farms. So this is going to be more and more. And on top of this, guys, look. You see this? <laughs> right here, with partnership with Abracadabra on LP Leverage and DGen Box, DGen Markets, will truly make it a poop coin exchange, which I love. Let that sink in, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Y'all guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.